Well, hello from Entebbe, Uganda, and I'm with an old relic. And behind me is a 707 as well. So, um, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Um, and we're off on another aviation adventure, heading out of Africa today. Um, um, yeah, it's well, a piece of sort of <laughs> um, improved a bit, um, haven't they? Um, no, we, we're not on this bird. We are on an even cooler bird than this. We're, this is actually probably the oldest plane in Africa, one of the oldest planes in Africa. And we are going to be flying on one of Africa's newest planes today. So I'm um, sure we head across to the airport and take a ride on today's flight. Thanks, Welcome, Charles. Hope you hey, all the best. Yeah, yeah, hope you get to fly someday, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah nice to meet you. Yeah, nice have a good day. Too, yeah. man, nice to meet you. Hey, you take care. Yeah. See you, man. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. All right. Let's just do this. They're not designed for these wheels, are they? These um, ropes. <laughs> Hey, Uganda Airlines. This way, thank you. Hey, how are you? Fine, good, good, I'm good, thank you. Uh, uh, yep, so COVID vaccination. Thank you. I've flown through a lot of airports in Africa and I can honestly say that I've never seen a shit show like Entebbe International Airport in my life, like anywhere in the world. This is just ridiculous. You know, see, I mean, aside from the fact you've got to go through literally how many security points just to get into the airport, it's like three. Everything, COVID check, I... Yeah, but you mean before you even get to the terminal. Yeah, yeah, that's like... Before you get to the terminal, there's like, the car gets stopped and then you have to get out and go through a security point. Then there's another security point. Then you've got to go up a set of stairs with your bag. Then there's a COVID check. Then there's another security point. Yeah. Then you've got another the, COVID check because they check your COVID pass to get into the terminal. Then they check your blood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They check you on. Uh, that will be next. On monkeypox. And then, um, and then there's another security check to get into the terminal. Now we're and that's when they let you in. I mean, I'm. It's so hot outside, man. And it's like all it's all in a tent. I was almost about to pass out. So. We sort of came in and, they were, and we were like five minutes too early to get in the terminal, like literally five minutes. Because and they're like, because it's, it's not going anywhere. No, there's nothing here. And um, we ended up just, um, we ended up, well, eventually we come in and now we can't like, get check in yet because it's not there. But honestly, right, right, it should be open in a minute, I guess. Yeah. But oh, honest to God, hey, it's just a terrible, terrible airport. Sort out your airport, Entebbe, because it's a bit crap. Hopefully we can check in soon, though. So, Josh, shall we try? Tarko Aviation. Okay, where did you go? That sign, I don't know. The Legend of Africa. The Legend of Africa. Entebbe, Yuba, Khartoum, Asmara, Jeddah, Riyadh. A lot of Saudi places. Amman, Cairo, Njamina, Kuwait, Kano. I've never heard of them before, have you? Uh, I'd be surprised if they're still around. I don't know. Let us know yeah. if you want us to try Tarko well, Aviation. Eagle, 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 Eagle Air. They still fly and they have let four tents. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah domestic flights. Yeah, yeah. I was going to do it while I was here, actually, but um, we didn't have time. But yeah, check plane. Nice check plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a cheap, nasty rubbish, like a Skoda. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful car. What are you saying? You know what I'm about. Uganda Airlines. Uganda Airlines. Yeah. On the other side. Yeah. Okay. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Sir. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. Yeah. Oh, I sit down. Hey, how are you? Hello, how are you nice doing? Nice to meet you. Hi. It seems to be there. It's too hot here in Uganda, yeah? You deserve something cold. <laughs> absolutely. A uh, gin and tonic for yeah. me. Yeah. Absolutely, two absolutely. Two gin and tonics, please. Okay, double, double. Thank yeah. you, double, double. Oh, yeah. double. And, and <laughs> water if you have. Still water too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. same as well. Can yeah. I have water as well? Oh, get him hydrated. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, there we go. You sat with that beautiful scene behind you, look.
Thank you. See you. Bye. 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 How did you like the lounge? Oh, it was good. It was very nice. Yeah. All right, so apparently we're boarding already. It's like an hour and a half till the flight leaves. Yeah, yeah. Do you reckon we're actually boarding or do you reckon they're just going to make us wait there? No, no way. Where the gate is. What was it, gate three? Yeah. Well, let's try and um, find our gate and figure out if we can actually get on board. They might let us business class people on board. I'd be asleep by the time you even get on board. <laughs> I'd have already been asleep in the lounge, I think. The so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But yeah, there you go. Lovely, right, that's when we get on board. G1, excuse me, um, Uganda to Dubai? Uganda Air to Dubai? Gate 3. Gate 3 is this here, around there, yeah? All right, so we're really confused. We've sort of come to the gate and there's like a line of people standing here and a few people dotted around but I don't know we should join a line I think and see what's going on we've got an hour and a half till our flight leaves it's like 90 minutes until our flight leaves and we want to make sure we leave we depart on time possibly uh, so that's the Uganda yeah. Airlines uh, it must be guaranteed. Uganda Airlines way yeah guaranteed, <laughs> guaranteed on time departure uh, well let's see maybe this is just to um, I don't know this may be just a document check or something I don't know are they going through there and downstairs? Because they haven't checked our documents today. Only 15 times since we got here, yeah. They just need to check one more time, just to be sure. Some people fly here, some not. Okay, so we were boarding, and then half the line has just sort of got up and walked off. <laughs> and they said we weren't, they made an announcement saying we weren't boarding, and now they've made another announcement saying we are boarding, and we need to come for another document check because we've only had them checked about five times already, and they need to just doubly check again. Let's see what so um, let's see, yeah, see what happens. So they said that we were boarding, and now we're not boarding again, um, and we're all sat down waiting. And she said, oh, you can go back to the lounge if you want, um, which is a bit frustrating because the lounge is sort of quite a walk from here and also I don't really as much as I'd like to go back to the lounge I don't want to sit down in the lounge and then get another boarding call saying oh by the way we're boarding again so we're sitting here and it's really hot really sweltery um, this airport either seems to be like minus five or about 50 degrees so and um, <laughs> so we're sitting here waiting now and seeing if we can board at some point tonight which might be nice so an hour after they eventually, well, they told us we were boarding, then not boarding, then boarding, then not boarding, then boarding immediately. Um, an hour later, we're still sat here in um, in the departure like gate area. It's sweltering hot, like proper hot Uganda summer day here. Um, and um, yeah, it's a bit frustrating really. We could be sat in the lounge still, um, but and the heat is angry. and the heat is it is it is proper tomato hot. Head. It's it's tomato, tomato head, head. <laughs> even more so than usual, you know. But, uh, <laughs> Um, oh dear. Get another heat stroke. Oh god, don't. This trip, you know, this trip so far has been, I've either been sweltering hot or freezing cold. Everywhere in Africa seems to be either air conditioning down to about five degrees. You know, I'm going to start a business. Or <laughs> selling air conditioning to airports in Africa. I'll be rich. <laughs> well, I, no, you I, won't because nobody will buy it. No, 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 I pitched that concept. <laughs> I said, guys, I have a great idea. You have to install air conditioning. Through the whole airport, yeah. Just this is a smart idea. Yeah. Let's do it. And then I sell them to them. I'll be yeah. rich. And I can start, stop this YouTube nonsense. Move on with my life. Yeah, but then you, but then nobody would ever buy it though. So, <laughs> but anyway, we're still here. We're still waiting. Hopefully, at some point tonight we might board. The plane's due to leave in about half an hour, so hopefully at some point tonight we might be able to get on board a plane. Um, I just need to sleep. I'm exhausted. But um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Have you downgraded to me? <laughs> <laughs> he wants to travel in cargo. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know what you need. Are we boarding now? Yeah, I'm Okay. Social distance. Yeah, yeah. Do you fancy getting your hands on my socks? new ones that is um you can buy those and much more exclusive Noel merch all over on my merch store at noelphillips.com the link's on the screen now thank you, thank you. Thank you. good night
How's it feel, Josh? We're finally boarding. We are boarding. Um, although I've everybody together, so yeah. No, 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 no privilege for you. No privilege for the business class passenger on Uganda Airlines. Yeah, you yeah. just get, get the same as everybody else. So yeah. Oh, let's go and get on this plane. Oh, on the sorry, on the bus. What do you want? I don't know, business class bus, <laughs> whichever that one is. <laughs> I guess it's the same one as everybody else. It's good to be sit down now. Oh, it's for I me mean, this is, yeah, I'm right. Gonna push you onto the bus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so on the bus to the plane, I think it is a bus, um, and it's just one bus for everybody. What so, is it? Um, bus. Bus. A bus. A bus. A bus. Because, of course, being the national airline of Uganda, they, can't park, their, they can't park their plane at the gate, um, like in like all the overseas airlines do. You have to park on a remote stand. That's what it is. It any any other airline from anywhere else can park at the terminal. They bully their own airline. Ah, exactly. So, um, so yeah, so we're on a bus to um, the plane, and um, yeah, having to mix with all the on great unwashed here. Exactly, you're <laughs> economy class passengers. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> anyway, let's see if we get on. This this thing. Power shortages on the bus seems to be just like in the terminal, the power keeps going off. But we we're leaving now. Are we leaving now? Yeah. Oh, exciting. We're not going to be the first stop, are we? Oh, yeah. They don't even uh, open that door, right? I bet they won't. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, there we go. All right, well, at least we get to board through the steps on a um, wide body. It's always nice. Let's see if we get on board. Hello. Hello. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, so finally on board the Uganda Airlines A330 800 Neo, my first time on an 800 Neo. Um, one of only two airlines in the world operating them at the moment, um, Uganda, um, along with Kuwait Airways, and uh, Greenland will be getting them at some point this year. But um, yeah, it's quite nice. I'm the only person. I'm alone in business class for the entire flight tonight. Um, so yeah, effectively, <laughs> it's like a private jet. I like it, Josh, right back there with the um, everybody else in economy. So it'll be interesting to see his video. Check out that link. Um, that video link's on the screen to his video um, so that um, you get his perspective of flying in economy down the back, but from the business class cabin, life is good. Life is good. The crew are nice. Um, crew are very nice, actually, very pleasant so far. Um, and yeah, um, a marked difference from the absolute shambles that is Antep Airport. So um, yeah, nice to be on board finally. Um, and looking forward to the flight. Oh, thank you. I never know what I'm doing with this, but I'll. Um... <laughs> That tastes lovely. It's okay. That's lovely, thank you. What would you do if I said it was horrible? <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, that's very kind. Isn't this a lovely glass, nice glass of champagne? So let's have a look around the seat on the Uganda Airlines A330-800 Neo, and it's very nice. It's the same seat actually as in Air Senegal Business Class that I flew on before. Um, link on the screen to that video. Very nice um, seat indeed, um, and I hopefully be very comfortable for tonight's flight. Um, we've got a nice big TV there. We'll go through that in a little while. We've got um, all sorts of bits here. We've got the touch screen control, touch controls here for the seat. Goes into a full life flat bed. Um, audio here, reading light, little st storage cubby thing there, little hatch, um, something in there I think, um, and um, there's a plug down here as well, a uh, USB 3 pin plug, um, and quite a comfortable seat I have to say, so um, yeah, looking forward, it's a 121 config as well, it's um, sort of staggered, so you see I'm in the window, that one's on the aisle, and that one's on the window, um, a few airlines doing that these days, quite nice, because you can get a window seat if you want to and be right up next to it like me and get all this privacy from this um, little sort of 
area at the side it's quite nice indeed so um yeah really looking forward to today's flight actually tonight's fly overnight over to dubai it's about a five hour 18 minute journey she said so i'm really hoping i might at least get a couple of hours sleep maybe he's asking a lot we'll see we'll figure it out anyway but um yeah ready to go to dubai all right so just come around with an amenity kit that looks very nice as well doesn't it and a pair of headphones too we'll go through the old amenity kitto um later in the flight um the crew absolutely lovely she explained to that the, uh, the person has just come around actually and explained to me that business class is pretty much always empty on this flight because the only people that fly uganda airlines typically are ugandans and um ugandans apparently don't fly business class very much um they like to go as cheap as possible and fly in the back so they've kind of put all these fancy business class cabins on and nobody's flying in it which is um a bit strange really isn't it no how come what how have they let you up here yeah well they wanted they wanted you to have a terrible flight i was so i was going to i was going to give uganda <laughs> I was going to give I was going to give Uganda Airlines a really good review, but now they've let you up here, I'm not so sure. So Okay, my name is Nina. Nina, nice Josh. Uh, uh, you got one of them. Do you get one of them? No, I thought that's why. Alright then, it's time to play a little game of what's in the amenity kit. We need to come up with a theme tune for that really, don't we? Um, I'm really excited to see what's on board, um, what's inside even this um, Uganda Airlines amenity kit. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Nice white leather bag, or faux leather, pleather uh, bag. But um, yeah, shall we have a little look what's inside? Come on Uganda Airlines, show us what you've got. It's got a nice little comb. Very handy, very handy. We have, oh, an eye mask, a white eye mask. Doesn't seem like it's gonna block out that much light, actually, a white eye mask. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's been thought through that um, well, to be honest. Style over substance, never mind. Um, <laughs> toothbrush and toothpaste, handy, because um, obviously yeah, Senegal pinched mine off me in my bag, so I've got a fresh one there if I need it. We have a shoe horn, always handy, for horning your shoes. A pair of socks, lovely, lovely. Um, and now we're getting to the juicy stuff, what we got in the juicy stuff. What's that? Oh, a razor blade and um, shaving gel. Again, handy. You don't, not, very, not very many I mean, tickets have that. Senegal had that, actually. I noticed that on theirs. Um, anyway, earbuds. Uh, we've got... What is this? I can't even read what it says. It's some blue potion of some sort. I can't read that. Can you read that? What does that say? Mouthwash. There we go. My eyesight's dreadful. Um, and then finally we have um, Uganda Airlines. What's this? Body cream. There you go for creaming your body. Always good to cream yourself. Oh, that sounded terrible. <laughs> Always good to <laughs> cream at your body while you are on a flight. I didn't sound much better actually, did it? Anyway, oh dear me, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. Right, that is the amenity kit on Uganda Airlines. 
All right, time for the segment. I'm going to start calling What's on TV, where we start going through the in-flight entertainment system. So let's have a little look at what we've got here on the Uganda Airlines A330-800 Neo. And we've got a good selection. Of course, we've got Big Bang Theory. We get Big Bang Theory on any airline worth their salt. Six episodes to go through on this flight, actually. 82 TV programmes. That's pretty decent, isn't it, really, as um, systems go. Um, movies, let's have a look at what movies we've got. A few movies here. Um, oh, Jump Kirk, that's a good movie. Um, it, I, that's a fantastic movie, actually. If you've not seen that, check it out. Um, if you're into your war films, um, or even if you're not into your war films, I'm not into war films particularly, but I thought that Dunkirk was fantastic, so do check that movie out. It's a fantastically well-done film. Um, but anyway, yes, there's lots of movies on here. What else we got? Harry Plopper, a few of them. The Goonies, of course. Wow. Some good movies on here. Lethal Weapon. Fantastic. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, we've got games. We've got a few books and things. Music. Let's have a look at the movie maps, though. That's the bit we all like to see, isn't it? What we got? Let's have a look. It's oh, it's loading, it's loading. Flight path 3D, of course. And there's our little route from Entebbe, Entebbe, over way, all the way over to Dubai. Wee like that. Um, although actually, we I think we're going to go sort of down here and around because for some reason we can't fly over this bit here um, because politics and all that. But um, yeah, that's, that's not bad really. Not a bad entertainment system um, on Uganda Airlines, and um, yeah, that's what's on TV on Uganda Airlines. So dinner has turned up and it's actually looking pretty decent. Um, we've gone for I've gone for beef tonight with mashed potato and um, a few veggies um, and then a little chucky pudding. Uh, now they did offer me a starter as well. It's worth noting that they did offer me a starter. The starter, the only options they have though is fish and um, salad. And given my current issues caused by fish um, earlier on this trip, um, let's just leave it to that. Um, I'm not eating fish at the minute because it, I, just the thought of it is making me feel ill. So um, nothing against Uganda Airlines. I'm sure their salmon is delicious, but um, not for me tonight. So I'm just going straight in with the main course tonight. So sorry if you wanted to see a bit of salmon. Don't shout at me too much in the comments. Now I absolutely love how everything on Uganda Airlines is branded. The cutlery is branded. The plates are branded. The glasses are branded. Just look at that. Like, even the forks. I've got the old um, Uganda Airlines... Um, logo and slogan on them fantastic um that's one thing you get i think with a lot of state i mean uganda airlines is a state-owned airline of course and um you get that with a lot of state-owned airlines because um, they like to brand everything but um it, it is very nice so shall we have a bit of this beef anyway let's see what it tastes like even the napkins branded with a lovely embroidered ugandan airlines um logo there let's give this a go then A little chewy. Well, it's perfectly acceptable, to be honest. Um, considering they've had to make this just for me as well, because there was only me in business class on this flight, um, so they've only made one of these. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not bad. I'm grateful to be getting a nice meal. It's a little bit chewy there, that beef, but... Um, mm. The mashed potato is quite nice, though. So. I mean, just look at this. Even the water bottle is branded as Uganda Airlines. I mean, <laughs> it's nice. It's nice um, that everything is branded. We've got plates, we've got Uganda Airlines bowls, we've got... It's amazing. Look at this glass. And etched etched engraved Uganda Airlines glasses it's lovely it's really nice I love seeing branded stuff on airlines um, but I can't help but thinking at the back of my mind that all this money that the Ugandan government spent on branding this airline which sees it seems barely any passengers um, maybe it could have gone into I don't know maybe do some work on the airport and making it a slightly less horrible place to transit through I don't know I don't know maybe that's just me but battle that one out in the comments <laughs> 
if you will. It's time for the No Phillips Blue Review. All right, then it's time for the Lou review on the Uganda Airlines A330 800 Neo. Um, and um, it's very clean, as you'd expect for a plane with just me and Josh on, unless Josh has been in here before me. Um, <laughs> but um, it's relatively clean. This aircraft is so shiny and new, even still today. Um, I mean, I'll talk to you about that in a minute, but look at this. Look, everything's brilliant, brand new, clean, sparkling. Even a clean Lou. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, and yeah, absolutely brilliant. I mean, this plane, basically, they delivered it. It sat still for six months and never went anywhere because they couldn't, I don't know why they didn't fly anywhere. I don't think they have rights to fly any routes or anything. And now they fly it, but like half empty all the time. So it's still pretty much in brand new condition inside. And it smells like a brand new plane and everything. It's really cool. Um, but you're having a great flight so far. The crew are absolutely so so amazing they really make this flight um and uh, yeah having a good flight so far anyway anyway um senegal is calling and i um, need to use the bathroom so um yes that was the noel phillips lou review all right then time to try out the flatbed on the uh, Uganda Airlines A330 800 Neo and um, it's nice it's pretty comfy I put the bed down and if I lay flat um, I am uh, my head's touching one end and um, my feet are touching the other end uh, so it's slightly tight just like the Senegal one was but I can still hopefully get a few hours good sleep on this plane um, it's lovely and private I mean the, these walls at the back here are so high it doesn't really show you on the camera just how high they are but they're very high and it feels like I'm in my own private little cubby hole, which is very nice indeed. Um, you can't really see out either into the aisle, which is also very nice. So, um, yeah, I am going to try and get a little bit of sleep before, or well, hopefully get a little bit of sleep before we arrive uh, at a ridiculously early hour. I think we're getting at like 4.30 or something in the morning into Dubai. So, um, yeah, hopefully get a little bit of sleep before we land in Dubai. Oh, good morning. Just woken up by the. Well, just got woken up, in fact, by the um, first officer announcing that we've started our descent down into Dubai. So I slept for a few hours, which was quite nice. Um, yeah, we'll be on the ground soon, actually. So I'm out quite a good few hours sleep anyway, yeah, which isn't too bad, really, I suppose. Um, very soon we'll be on our um, on the ground down in um, Dubai. Thank you to this week's video sponsor, Surfshark, who always come to the rescue whenever I want to watch some British TV when I'm traveling. Surfshark is a VPN provider, and what that means quite simply is that you can use their software to connect to the internet from anywhere in the world and make it look like you're just at home, which has some really good benefits. For instance, I could be sitting here by a sunny pool in Vietnam and um, watching some Top Gear on my phone. It lets me watch EastEnders here in the middle of the Australian outback. Oh yeah, I'll have a Castle Main 4X, please, mate. Cheers. Surfshark even lets me catch up with only fools and horses. Well, I'm here in New York. Now, Surfshark are offering you a massive 83% discount plus three months free when you use my promo code Noel Phillips at the link on the screen now. What are you waiting for? Even Baby Shark approves.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. Bye bye. As always, a massive thank you to my patrons for helping to make these videos possible. You can join them at the link on the screen now for access to my WhatsApp group, live Zoom calls with me, and much, much more. All right, we made it to Dubai, back out of Africa. How was your flight? Loved it, loved it. It was a great memory, great crew, great seat. Um, I mean, there's a little details where you can work on them, but overall, you mean like the airport? Overall, <laughs> the, yeah. overall, the ground experience was a bit disappointing, but overall, it was a fantastic flight, and I love the the pride that the crew takes in that, in that, in that plane and, and the service they delivered. It was genuine, and it came from from the heart, so I love that. I absolutely agree. Yeah, I think they've got a brilliant product. It's a shame that nobody uses it, and I think if they just like did some of the changes, like with the airport and stuff, it would make a really, you know, they could be a really good airline. And they are a really good airline. It just it's the other bits that sort of let it down a bit, isn't it? Really. So yeah. They have all the potential. They have everything. Absolutely, and the, I kind of just say the crew were absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. They, um, they were probably this, and they had so much passion for what they did, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, you know, yeah. and they loved it. They loved their airline. Um, and the fact that they were getting to fly for their country, it was just, I mean, it, was, it was lovely to see, lovely to see. Um, but this is, this is like the end of mine and Josh's adventures together in Africa. Do you want more guys? Do you want more? Let us, let us know in the comments. Yeah, it's going to be very emotional saying goodbye to you today, Josh. It is. As you go off to your fancy hotel to go and sleep while I get on another plane. But, um, yeah. I'm flying Mahane tomorrow and we have a A210. Just That's drop that in there. Yeah. That's Mr. <laughs> Mr. First Class. <laughs> Mr. First Class, yeah. <laughs> Let us know what, if you'd like to see that anyway, if you'd like to see more videos with me and Josh. And also don't forget to go and check out Josh's channel. I'll pop a link on the screen now. Um, give him a follow. He makes some amazing content, genuinely, and um, flies on some really random airlines, and even ones that I wouldn't dare fly on. So, um, <laughs> that is a big which is a... <laughs> That's a big I can retire now. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. So, um, yeah, anyway, well, thanks so much for watching, as always. Uh, take care and um, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.